Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of testing super powerful Kaya motors with Alex. Right here today we got the NK300. This thing is a powerhouse. It's super fast. But what I want to show you today is that you don't have to go maximum speeds to achieve the results you're wanting to get out of your kayak. This motor can go super fast at low levels that is gonna propel you for miles and miles and miles and miles, more miles than you ever thought you could cover on the water on a kayak before. And guess what guys, you could save 10% off by using my code ALIAS10. I'm gonna link everything down in the description so you go check it out and save yourself some money. This is gonna be an affiliate link and when you do buy it through there, you do support the channel and that means a lot. The battery right now, it has 52% power. I'm gonna go ahead and release. Uh oh. First, I need to get out of the shore. Don't wanna release the motor on top of a hard surface. Don't wanna, you know, I break everything, lose everything. I don't wanna lose that motor. Kill switch, very important. And then you have to turn it on. There you go. Let me not pollute. Gonna give it a 25% power to get out of here. It's impossible to, I mean, you could get 25, but I'm gonna spend more time trying to get 25 than whatever. As you can see, we have 52% battery. And right now it's 25% at 170 watts and a 52% power on this battery, like left capacity. We can maintain this, this for seven hours plus. So do the math, 100% charge, you could do this for 14 hours. And you know how fast we're going at 25 miles an hour? 25 miles an hour, at 25% power? Well, let me show you. And see that the motor is not loud at all, man. Like, I don't think that's gonna spook fish. You're gonna spook more fish with the whole slap than the motor itself. 3.6 miles an hour, 3.8 miles an hour. Let's say 3.5 times 14. I'm gonna need a calculator to calculate that because that's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of numbers, man. 50 miles. You could go 50 miles on this boat. That is incredible. With this amped outdoor lithium battery, 68 hour, 36 volt. 25% power on this NK300, on this Bona 5, 129 power, you could cover 50 miles at three and a half miles an hour. You tell me if you over there could paddle straight for 14 plus hours to reach 50 miles. You can't. This motor does it for you. Now, let's say you wanna get there a little faster. Let's say you wanna go to I don't know, 50% have 50% power, 466 watts. We got 51% capacity at this speed. You could maintain this endurance for two hours, 45 minutes. So if you go 100% capacity, you could stand this for five, four, five and a half hours five and a half hours operation and i want to know how fast i'm going so let's do that 50 percent power let's see how fast we go i mean we're turning even at, at four miles per, per hour we turn like like that five five miles an hour for five and a half hours let's see let's see how much is that i'm sorry i don't want to use my head five times 5.5 5. it's 27 miles you could go 27 plus miles with this battery at 5% at five miles an hour, 50% power. 27 plus miles, this is crazy stuff. Now let's say you go, I don't know. I wanna get there a little faster. I, I wanna say six, I wanna say six. Now let's go to 75% uh, power. Okay, 75% power, 850 watts or so. Let's see the battery. It says that at this pace, it will continue for one 
hour and 30 minutes give or take double that that's three hours operation time three hours operation from this battery and uh, we, I see 5.7 5.8 but I'm turning and I really like like I need to get it straight and let it go because right now it's sort of fighting its own it, it's fighting its own wake let's see let's see let's see let's see 5.8 5.9 let's just run it up to six miles an hour 75 percent power and i think i said that we could go for uh for three hours so six times three so at six miles an hour 75 percent power you could go on this battery for three plus hours so it's 18 miles you almost double up the speed but you lost a lot of endurance and this is where this is not gonna make sense where you're gonna go 100 100 just doesn't make sense because if you go 100 we have about one hour operation left on this battery that means it's gonna be Two hours or so plus I think it's like 210 to 20 give or take and you're just gonna go at the maximum that you can go it's 6.7 miles an hour maximum for two hours 12 plus miles so it makes basically zero sense to go maximum speed unless that's all you need for that day I'm super excited about having this boat to be one of my go-to boats for the 2024 season. I'm talking like I'm gonna be fishing tournaments or whatever, but I'm not, but I'm, this is for me. When I wanna go somewhere, explore some big waters and stuff, I wanna take this boat or the autopilot, depending how I'm feeling that day. I think the autopilot I'm gonna take if I don't wanna deal with the NK on the back, if I don't need that extra motor, I'm not gonna take the autopilot. I mean, I'm gonna take the autopilot and I'm gonna take this one. If I really wanna go, let's say I wanna go fish an entire key, I wanna go somewhere far, I'll take this one because I'll probably gonna take the bow mount trolling motor as well. Guys, don't click off the video yet. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to remove all this off the kayak and go home. Oh no, did I just do that? I just scratched the hell out of my kayak. And it's new. <laughs> I thought it was in some sort of beach area. That sucked. Why did I do that? This is pure rocks in here. And it's plastic. And all plastic is the same. Really. But uh, on the bright side, I didn't have to get wet. Let's see the damage. Eh, not that bad. <laughs> okay, so one of the cool things about this setup right here is how easy it is to remove everything. So, gonna go ahead and, and bring the motor down a little bit. Slowly, let it touch. All right, it's touching the ground there. This piece right here is easy to remove. Done. The battery, you just disconnect it with a quick disconnect. I'm gonna be doing installation here, so it just plugs in, in there. I wish this cable was a little longer, but it's not. So you just disconnect the throttle 
and uh, the steering I have it on this carabiner so just remove that loop this is gonna stay in the triangle remove the other loop and then the reverse the reverse can stay there because well no I had to remove the motor Boom, there you go and you just release this always put it back because you don't want to be losing pieces there you go so just like that this motor is off and this steering this this oh it's gonna break dude this piece i'm gonna i'm gonna get a like a solid um stainless steel piece i'm gonna cut it exactly to size and i'm gonna replace that the amazing amped outdoors lithium battery which did a wonderful job today